So to many, a selfish empath sounds like a bit of a contradiction. Uh, it's kind of like saying, man, that sure is a fat mosquito. Or, hey, what a nice narcissist. Yeah, you see, after all, uh, we as empaths are known for being givers, fixers, helpers, rescuers, oftentimes pleasers. So uh, this is what makes the empath so attractive to narcissists. See, the narcissist knows the empath is ready, okay, to do what? Take responsibility for another person's problem. It's like the dry cleaners. Just drop it off. We'll take care of it, okay? And see, the narcissist, guess what? They stick to a very simple formula. Yeah, just two cups of love bombing and a quart of sad story. Add water and stir, okay? And then you know what? The empath starts to do what? Starts projecting their own feelings into the situation. Oh, uh, you know, remembering a time when you felt rejected or abandoned and God forbid, I don't want to make somebody else feel this way. And see, every time the narcissist wants to get you right back in line, you know what they do? They just play the victim and they say, you know what? You're hurting me just like everyone else did. Okay. And they will even do what? Oh, man, just for a fact, they'll even say what? You are a narcissist. <gasps> oh, my God. And you start to tell yourself, maybe I am a narcissist. I mean, after all, one of the key components to being a narcissist is not having empathy. And the fact that you're an empath, well, clearly you must be. A... Yeah. OK, so you say maybe what they're saying is true. OK, maybe I do want too much. And I'm, and I'm just never satisfied. Maybe I'm too selfish. Okay. So then what you start to do, you say, well, you know, I'll work harder to prove that I'm not selfish. And what happens? You find yourself stuck in this constant loop, unable to get out. Okay. See, what I would like to suggest is that most empaths are not selfish enough. Now, I know what we're thinking about this word selfish, that we've been taught that it's bad and it's wrong. But what I would like to do is rebrand it. OK, because what happens is the empath looks at it in a very skewed, distorted way. OK, let's look at it. So what an, what an empath may consider selfish, the average person actually considers what? Boundaries. Boundaries are not bad. Scripture says this, love your neighbor as you love yourself, right? See, but the impasse puts all, 100% of the emphasis on the neighbor part, ignoring the yourself part. So do me a favor. The next time the narcissist calls you selfish, tell them, thank you. Thank you. Say, I've been working on it. Okay. Now, will it feel uncomfortable? Absolutely. At first, like anything does that you try that you're not used to. Like, remember when you first started working out, that lactic acid builds up on your muscles and it's just, it hurts. Okay. But listen, doesn't mean it's wrong. You just keep doing it and eventually it will feel normal. Okay. So you'll be able to proudly say one day, I'm a selfish empath. Absolutely. But let me ask you this now. Are you afraid though? right now to be called selfish. See, are you giving so much? There's nothing left for you at the end of the day. And does it feel uncomfortable for you to communicate your boundaries? If this is the case, you know what to do. Go to my website, ChristopherReed.org, schedule your free 30 minute consultation. So I can tell you how coaching is going to help you do what? Embrace and enforce your boundaries. Be a little more selfish. Also, join me every Wednesday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in my closed Facebook group, The Diamond Mind. Ladies, this is just for you. Um, we just talked about yesterday. Why do you attract narcissists? Now, we just talked a little bit about that, but there's some other qualities that they look for. They're drawn to these characteristics like a magnet, okay? And if you have them, this is music to the narcissist's ears, okay? Um, so listen, if you enjoy the material, please make sure that you subscribe, and I love to keep the videos coming to you. And I'm out. Y'all take care. Peace.